pour a glass of craft beer, we can do this. What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead, and welcome to another edition of Beer Mail here on BAOS. We have a fantastic lineup of beers tonight. I also have a fantastic co host, Richard Batch. Wow. Richard Bastard. Wow. Wow. How you doing, bro? Can, can you say your name? Richard Bastard. Bam. Baby. Like, this is our second beer mail of the night, so you know what that means. I can't say his name. Why can't I say your name? I've never done that before. It happens. It's like the it C happens to everybody. and then the S and then the other C H. It's a lot of ends. like vowels. And it's like constant a lot of things constant. A lot of things happening. It's 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 a lot. But it's too much. Well, thank you for hanging out and helping man's out tonight. Uh, we have three bangers from a relatively new brewery in Montreal. Bob Magnell, I believe, is how you pronounce it. Um, it's actually run by Matthias and Christian, two home brewers who are now professional brewers. I actually was just telling Rich, I met them via Pierre, shouts to Pierre, um, uh, maybe two and a half years ago, on my birthday, funnily enough, at Ildegard, and we were chatting, and they, you know, they had aspirations. They were home brewers who were winning contests. They had aspirations of uh, opening their own brewery. And then... Um, I think my friend Craig was here in July, and we happened to just purchase one of their beers. They had a Kiwi Berliner Weiss, which looked bomb. Mm. We were drinking it, posted about it, and then we were talking. Like right? How do you know? Because like the fruity sours. Mm. It, was, it was great. It was a good beer. Mm. Mm-hmm. And I hadn't heard of the brewery before, and uh, ended up talking to them on Instagram and realized they were like, yeah, we, we know you. We've hung out before. I'm like, what? Who are you guys? And then realized it's who they were. So uh, I met up with Matthias recently, and he linked me with these three. So I'm super excited to try them because I've only ever tried that one beer. So first up, Rich, we have, is it Paz Pa? Would you say that? Uh, yeah, because yep. you got the, 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 the vowel the... right after the, the, the S. Right? Yes, which is Paz Pa. Paza Pot, which is a strong style ale with hibiscus, red currants, and honey. Mm. Looks interesting. 6.2%. All right. You like? And by the way, these guys, so they're contract brewing currently. They're contract brewing out of Croonan in Blainville, Quebec. So Croonan also a fantastic shout out to Monica and Ovi. Great people as well. Uh, this one is called, how do you say that? Fourberry Rouge? Fourberry Four Rouge? Fourberry, yeah. Yeah. So it's a sour ale with raspberries and cranberries. Mm. Inspired by a Flanders red. Uh, 6.6 pretty nice okay, okay. bottled in, uh, in February so I think all of these are pretty good because they're all like sours that can sit around for a while uh, and this one is their bourbonade uh, a bourbon lemonade so lemon beer aged in bourbon oak barrels that which sounds is pretty delicious 6.4 is their third uh, round of it I like the way they're doing this it's pretty cool um, we were just talking about I wonder why they're called Bob Magnell I don't know what's, what's up with that I'll have to ask him yeah, I'm going to have to know. Boys, let us know because uh, it's an interesting name. Uh, and of course, as always, Brewheads, best opener in the game. You need no other opener than mm-hmm. this. Hit the link in the description for our discount code because it is fire. Shout out to Pretty Penny. You know what it is. Bam, bam. I'm wearing the Overhop shirt because Tatiana, shout out to Tatiana shout from to Tatiana. Overhop, she lives with Pierre and I met these guys through Pierre. It's all connected. It's six degrees, guys. It's just it's deep. It's deep. All right. We're doing this. So we're going to start off with this bad boy. All right. Smells good. Mm. Smells good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh. 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 See, because it's a hibiscus beer, often they are just like bright, bright red. I might be giving you some more. Bear with me. Nice. Oh, hang on. I'm going to go down here. I can't see that other video anyway. Still. Tiff. Tiff. Oh, Tiff's not turning it around. Got it done. I need to take photos of all of these after. I'm not going to do it now, though. Strong sour ale with hibiscus, red currants, and honey. It is 6.2%. Bottled in April 2018. This is their fourth batch of it. Production Boom. number four. Uh, let's take a sniff. Look at it. It looks good. Mm-hmm. Oh, very fruity. Mm-hmm. Well, put yeah, it in here. Nice. Mm. I'm getting all of them. The currants, the hibiscus, and the honey. And the honey. Right? Honey is like the, the aftertaste. Right yeah. at the end. Yeah. Um, hibiscus is kind of up front. It's that earthy, florally, kind mm-hmm. of like still but red fruity uh, vibe. Hibiscus is such a great beer ingredient. Mm. Mm-hmm. Nice, tangy. Ooh, puckering sour. Like I feel healthier drinking this. After drinking this. this beer. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, a boost to juice. Yeah, exactly. Shake. Exactly. Or like a kombucha. Ooh, it's like a booch. It's totally a booch. Real, real heads call it booch. Booch. Yeah. Bad and boochy. <laughs> <laughs> the episode name. Totally yeah. the episode name. 
<laughs> You're an idiot. I That's love why it. I'm out here. That's why we keep Rich around, ladies and gentlemen. To that nugget, it's not just a pretty face. Mm-hmm. Um, so this one's pretty fire. I like that a lot. That was really, really tasty. Delicious. Tell us about this one, Rich. All right, so we have, we have the, the Fourberry. Fourberry. Rouge. Strong beer. Sour red with raspberry and cranberry, inspired by Flanders Red Ale. Flanders Red's a bum. Bottled February. Production number two. 6.6. Not bad. Percent. Nice. Boom. I figured this one, because it had a few more berries and stuff, it might be a little more intense than this guy. Right. Particularly as a Flanders so Red. So that's why it's in the, the song. Yeah, and then the other one's a bourbon, so it makes more sense. Uh, have you had many Flanders Reds? I'm going to say I have not. No. Are you familiar with the style? I am not. Tell, no? tell me about them. So Flanders Reds are generally their Belgian style beer. Uh, excuse me. Um, I know, right? It's like a multi fruity sour style of beer. It's um, it's it's interesting. It's kind of almost hard to describe, like completely, uh, like without like tasting it. So let's see how we can go, because if it's inspired by that, it definitely is the right color profile. It's kind of like a dark, uh, like brownie red. Right. Ooh. Definitely could smell the cranberry. So this is way fruitier than a typical Flanders red. On the raspberry. Oh yeah, yeah. heavy on the raspberry. Totally. Well, get in here. You You did opposite this time. Ooh, wow, that's great. Mm. Like it tastes like drinking a uh, raspberry. Yes, with that cranberry in there, and like, it's got that at the end. At the yeah. end, yeah. and it's got that Flanders red. This is like a very subtle. This is actually, I'm going to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of Flanders reds. They're cool, but I like them in small doses, and mm. it's not really my thing. Uh, this one though, this is exceptional because the fruit flavors are way more forward than mm. yeah, a typical Flanders red. This is great. This is fantastic. Yeah, so it's got that. Like the, the earthiness in the mm. background, that's the Flanders Red typical totally, flavor. Yeah. But this has got that that berry, the raspberry, which is supported by the cranberry, like the burst up front. Um, not overly puckeringly sour, that kind no. of like barrel aid sour type of joint. Just sour enough. Mm. Oof. That is delicious. Yeah, that's really good. I wonder if it's, um, I'm not sure if these guys actually get to age them in barrels and stuff. I think I was, I was talking to um, Matthias when he linked me. Um, I think they were starting to do that, but it was, it was literally just a, a question of space. Mm. Like they were right. able to do so much. I think they would like to do more, but because they're contracting and Kroonin have, you know, a lot going on anyway. Uh, they can Once they scale up. Yeah, once they scale hopefully. up, they're looking for a place right now just casually to see, you know, they're growing the brand. I think it's really smart, man. Like not enough people contract brew to, and then grow their brand and turn it into a proper uh, situation. Just, yeah. This is the Bourbonade. Mm. A lemon uh, sour beer. Uh, hold that for a sec, because I'm going to give you some more. Uh, aged in bourbon barrels, um, which was suggested for my um, four thousandth beer. Okay. But I got it after the fact. Woof! All right. Uh, this is uh, bottled in May this year. Production number three, so the third batch, six point four percent. Uh, that's it, just strong sour beer with lemon. Asian mm-hmm. bourbon barrels. Sounds Straight like a point. wicked uh, thing. All right, get in ya. Ooh, smells like lemon. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Less sour than I thought it would be. Yeah. I was ready for that. Boom. Because of lemon. Totally different taste than I uh, expected. Yeah, really smooth, eh? Really smooth. Yeah, I like that a lot. The oak... And the bourbon are kind of like chill. And to be honest, I don't want, I don't want too much bourbon in that. That's it, yeah. Um, 6.4, I think. So it's like not overly... Uh, all of these are in the sixes, which I... In the sixes is like that perfect Green ABV. Yeah. yeah, right? Like exactly what you want. Not too high. You can drink a few more beers. You don't have to have like an 8% and but like, you're donezo. Not boozy at all. Nah, man. Super smooth. You get a little bit of the oak, like tannins, kind of from an oak barrel uh, in there. Totally. But not overly. Mm-mm-mm. Lemons up front, but not... I mean, it's not overpowering. overpowering. Not well, overpowering, but it's, but it's like... It's, it's the main thing you're getting. Yeah, it's there. But it's not like, ooh, that puckering. Mm-hmm. Sometimes lemon can be a little bit much in, in some beers, but this is fantastic. And to be honest, I... Uh, 
I've been going into these beer mails recently with expectations, of course, for everyone, and I expected fire just because I know these guys are passionate. Uh, you know, I've known them for a couple of years, not well, but you know, seen them around at festivals all the time, and um, you know, they wouldn't have been putting things out if it wasn't, if it wasn't fire. tried and true. Exactly. Yeah, I really feel like these guys are very proud yeah, of what these they are do. Three solid beers. Really solid beers, man. I'm really looking forward to trying more. Um, so look, if you've seen any of the Bob Bagnell beers around Montreal, highly recommend you try them. Um, these three for sure. And the Kiwi Berliner, if it's still around, like it seems like a summer kind of stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was so good. I wish like when my friend Craig got it, I just had some of it with him, but I wish I had got a bottle. So I'm going to look for that if it's still around, but, um, I'm sure they've got a whole bunch of winter stuff coming as well. Of course. They seem like the type of blokes who man's be, uh, yeah, man's ain't playing around. Um, so check them out. Hit them up on social, and uh, yeah, if you see them around anywhere, like at least in Montreal at this point is where they'd be. Um, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, mate, boom, smash the thumbs up. Hit subscribe below. Hit the notification bell. Ding. So you know when the new new drops. Follow us on social media at BAOS Podcast. And Rich, where can they find you? Instagram, King.Richard. Two Ds. Two Ds. Not one D. Two Ds. Two of them. Two of them, still. And check out the long form audio. Uh, BOS Podcast has a whole bunch of great, great long form interviews coming up. Uh, check us out on Spotify. Hit follow and then go listen to some rap music by myself or Notion. That would be fire. And then uh, check out on Apple Podcasts as well. Rate, review, subscribe. You know the drill. That is it, y'all. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And as always, get in, in ya! Yeah.